Let's solve these problems. Find dy over dx for the following. So we need to find the derivatives of the following function. So for number 1, we have y is equal to e. So take note that the derivative of any constant c is equal to 0. So since that e is the natural number which is approximately 2.71 which is a constant therefore getting its derivative dy, dy over dx it's just equal to 0. For number 2 we have y is equal to 2x. So here we can apply the formula for derivatives wherein if you have the derivative of any constant c multiplied by any function let's say f of x it's just equal to that constant c times the derivative of that function f of x and also the derivative of x is equal to 1 so applying these rules for derivatives in the problem getting dy over dx so this 2 is just a constant so you can just copy this 2 multiplied by the derivative of the variable x and since we know that the derivative of x is 1 we will have 2 times 1 or simply 2 so final answer is 2 for number 3 we have y is equal to negative 3 times x to the fifth so we will apply here the power rule for derivatives wherein if we have the derivative of x to the n it's equal to n x raised to n minus 1. So getting the derivative dy over dx, we will have, so negative 3 is just constant, so let's just copy negative 3 times the derivative of x to the fifth. So we can now apply this power rule for the derivative of x to the fifth, so we will have negative 3 times, so bring down the exponent of x, 5, so that will be the n here in the formula copy the base x and then subtract 1 from the exponent 5 so we will have x raised to 5 minus 1 so we can multiply negative 3 times 5 that's negative 15 times x raised to 5 minus 1 or 4 so the final answer is negative 15 x to the fourth for number 4 we have y is equal to the square root of x so to apply the power rule we can transform first the radical square root of x into fractional exponent. So we know that the square root of x is equal to x raised to 1 half. And then getting the derivative dy over dx applying power rule. So again, bring down the exponent 1 half, copy the base x, subtract 1 from the exponent 1 half. Simplifying, we will have 1 half x raised. So what is 1 half minus 1? That will be negative 1 half. So you can transform this into positive exponent. So it's equal to 1 over 2 times x raised to 1 half. Or if you write it as radical form, it's the same as 1 over 2 square root of x. For number 5, we have y is equal to 1 over x cubed. So... Notice that the power of x is under the denominator. So we cannot apply the power rule yet. But what we can do first is to transform this into negative exponent. So we know that 1 over x cubed can be written as x to the negative 3. So applying power rule, dy over dx will now be equal to, so bring down the exponent, negative 3. Then copy the base x. Subtract 1 from the exponent, negative 3. Simplifying, we will have negative 3 times x raised to negative 3 minus 1, negative 4. Again, we can transform this into positive exponent. So this is equal to negative 3 over x raised to the 4th power. For number 6, we have y is equal to 1 over the 4th root of x. So we have another radical here. So let's try to transform first into fractional exponent. So it's equal to x raised to 1 fourth, the fourth root of x. And then we transform again this uh, 1 over x to the 1 fourth into negative exponent since the power of x is under the denominator. So it's equal to x raised to negative 1 fourth. We can now apply the power rule. So getting dy over dx. 
So, bring down the negative 1 fourth, the exponent. Copy the base x. Subtract 1 from the exponent, negative 1 fourth. So, simplifying, we will have negative 1 fourth times x raised. So, negative 1 fourth minus 1. That will be negative 5 over 4. So, transforming this into positive exponent, we will have negative 1 over 4 x raised to 5 over 4. So, this is the final answer. Lastly, for number 7, we have y is equal to 3x squared minus 5x plus 4. So, this time we have more than one term. We actually have three terms. So, if that's the case, we can differentiate term by term. So, getting the derivative dy over dx. So, let's start with the derivative of 3x squared. So, just copy this 3 as the constant. Getting the derivative of x squared, applying power rule. So, bring down the exponent 2, copy base x. And subtract 1 from the exponent 2. Next, derivative of negative 5x. So, this negative 5, just a constant. So, just copy. Then, times the derivative of x. So, we know the derivative of x is 1. Plus 4. The derivative of 4, which is a constant, should be 0. Then, simplifying, we will have 3 times 2, it's 6. x raised to 2 minus 1, or 1. Or if the exponent is just 1 in algebra, you can just... Delete that exponent. Then minus 5 times 1 or 5 plus 0. So no need to write the 0. So this will be the final answer. Okay, now it's your turn. So try to solve this problem and just comment your answers.